Welcome back to the What Police second podcast. Today we will do well all games. We will pick nine riders and we can only spend maximum 100 points. The cheapest riders cost four points. The most expensive one is Stade Pogchar, 26 points. We'll pick our squads in this video. Uh, the, the first class was all rounders. There are two choices possible. And uh, which two riders did you pick, Najka? I went safe and just took both Slovenes because they are the best riders in the world by far. Okay, you took Pogacar and Roglic. Who, yeah, Pogacar is 26 I... points, Roglic yeah, is 22 just... points. And there are like nine spots and yeah. you, you can use only 100 points. So that's already yeah. 48% of all points. You're spending yeah, on so two I, riders. Yeah, yeah. because on the, on the first uh, the first team I built, I didn't take Pogaccio because he's so goddamn expensive. But then like Pogaccio and Rockledge will score on hill stages, mountain, time trial, GC, probably also in KOM jersey, get a few points. Yeah. So it just will just get so many points. Uh, that's why, yeah. You are Maybe. probably right, but yeah, I picked also Roglic, but I picked also Jonas Wingard, who might yeah. get a lot of assist points as a Yumba Wism rider because, yeah, you also get the assist points if your uh, team rider wins. Or so I Jonas is 18 points, so I'm, I'm saving eight points by not take, taking Pogacar, who I think. Uh, might crash out or get COVID, I hope, because I also betted on Roglic. Like, if Roglic wins to the front, I will get, like, 5,000 euros, or I don't know how many at this point, because I'm fucking <laughs> stacking up on Roglic. <laughs> but he won't win. Like, he will get COVID, on fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah that's, that's always the danger, that someone just crashes out or yeah. DNFs, and then your entire team is basically fucked. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So you need to hope that that doesn't happen. Yeah, Wingegaard is the thing. Uh, he will just lose so many points in TT and Hill stages. Maybe. Compared to his... Yeah, and that's why uh, yeah, I think I think the eight-point difference is worth it in the end. Uh, I'm looking at other options. Are like, yeah, these three, like Pogic, Roglic, Wingard was by far the most yeah. expensive ones, but Enric Maas with, with 12 points. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was one of my early squads, but... Uh, he might crash all. There's a really the, the high prob- The problem with Enric Mas is that you need to look at Enric Mas' history this year. He has crashed out of nearly every race he entered. Yeah, I know. There are also <laughs> Geraint Thomas with 14 points, but I don't believe in him that much. Alexander Vlasa with 14 yeah. points. <laughs> Who is like, he got COVID. Chris Room with 8 points. Uh, <laughs> Maybe Stephen Kreuzweig Kru- will <laughs> win this Tour of France with six points. <laughs> okay. Imagine. Okay, let's yeah. move to the next class. The next class was climbers. And which two riders did you pick, Majka? Yeah, I mean, I already spent real <laughs> a ton on the first two, so I had to. Yeah, couldn't pick the most expensive one. I would have liked to get Ben O'Connor because I think he's really worth it for twelve. But uh, in the end, I went for Lennart Kemna because I think he's the best breaker around the world and Dylan Toynes I think he also he's only break. six points oh yeah he's only sake. six points and yeah and he can like score on all of the kill stages and then also from some breaks so that's why I think Toynes really worth it for six I didn't pick Pogacar so I saved some points and I picked Ben Connor 12 points and Damiano Caruso who is worth I think eight points yeah eight yeah eight and why I picked Ben O'Connor because like he finished fourth last year, so he proved that he can ride a Grand Tour. He was really good in Dauphine. He finished third in that uh, Queen stage, like 15 seconds behind Roglic and Wingard. So I know he his form must be good. Caruso, he finished second last year in Giro. Bach and Victorious, they have yeah, Tunes, Haig and Caruso. Hey, is 10 points, Caruso is 8 points, and yeah, Tunes is 6 points, and I believe in Caruso because he can at least, he's a better time trialist than Haig. Yeah, Caruso is consistent, but I think he's really overrated because of the Giro. Uh, 8 points. Giro. Uh, he yeah, points, he's probably, yeah. I think, yeah, for 8 points, he's probably fair. He'll top 10 GC, probably, and then uh, maybe, the, the other maybe options, do something on GC. The other options in this category was Felipe Martinez, 14 points. I mean, it's 12 points uh, from the high. Also, I wanted to pick Ruben Guerrero, who is 8 points, because he was good in Dauphine and uh, Mont Ventoux Classic, but I don't trust that he can ride uh, like uh, as a GC rider, so he must be a breakaway rider. 
Like yeah, I'll I will definitely, definitely go for breaks. Yeah, I will definitely like put some money on him uh, on yeah some on modern stages yeah, to win from break. I think also KOM is these dots. I oh, think yeah. you'll target that. Probably. There's also no, like for six points. I think I think the best six points rider is uh, Luis Menches. From Inter Marcia wanted Goberto. Like he'll finish the top ten. There's really high chance. Yeah, he, true. Well, actually, but the problem actually. is that he won't get any points in stages because he will be only yeah. like fifteenth, twentieth. Yeah, he might top ten some mountain stages, but other than yeah. that, yeah, he he might be consistent or he might like rush. Yeah, out actually, also. yeah, six. He is actually a really good deal for six points. Yeah, that's not like there are many good options. Maybe Jeffrey Bouchard if he he goes. No way. no way, no Maybe. way. He will write. He will write a support for Ben O'Connor. Oh, fuck's sake. I think they are all in for Ben. Oh, maybe, but he's French, so maybe on Azure Tour, French can do anything <laughs> when they want. I think maybe Guillaume Martin yeah. with eight points is nice. Because I, I know this sounds like crazy, think, but uh, he's consistent at least. Also, uh, surely mine is for six is better than Martin for eight. Yeah, but Martin might go in the breakaway <laughs> also. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, be, yeah, hello. Okay, the next category was a sprinter, and we can only pick one sprinter. And uh, I picked, I, I picked already Mads Pedersen, but then was announced that Sam Bennett is, isn't going to Tour France, so I picked Danny Van Poppel, who is six points. Pedersen is eight points, so I saved two points by taking Van Poppel. I took Pedersen because I think we're probably top 10 also that opening TT and he can challenge in some hillier stages and I think he's just way faster than Van Poppel also. Eh, probably, but um, I need yeah, to save, Poppel, save yeah. two points. <laughs> yeah, Van Poppel is also good. Like, he could also challenge on the cobble stage probably Van Poppel. Like, he's been yeah. good in the semi-classics last year, at the end of last year in the cobble ones. Yeah. Yeah. He's the, a really good rider. But the I don't think he has the top end for the sprints. Yeah, the problem is that I don't know how good he's a sprinter this year because he's always good. leading out Sam Bennett and, and his best lead out is Marco Haller, I think. Yeah, so yeah, his, his Marco Haller is not going, that bad. Yeah, he's going to be shit, but uh, yeah. it's all right. Nobody really has a great lead out of this tour, I don't think. Yeah, but fuck, say the sprinters, yeah, like many of them might OTL. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think the like last year we saw. Uh, an Alps that is this difficult was 2018 and if you look like at the 2018 uh, Champs-Élysées stage barely any real sprinters are left so I think the same will happen this time and that's why I, yeah, I picked Pedersen because he's probably more likely to survive than most of the pure sprinters Yeah, so there was also next one was unclass riders you could pick like three of them I picked Florian Seneschal Stefan Kung and Nathan Mahoydong. Yeah, I mean, I had to, I already spent a fuck ton of points, so I had to, I only had, I had to pick three, four points, which is the cheapest. Yeah, so I took Nathan Van Hoydong as well for the assist point because Jumbo will probably win a ton of stages and GC and stuff. So he'll get a decent amount of assist points, pretty much secured. Uh, then I took also Benjamin Tomar. He was really good this year. I think, didn't he win, like, oh, how is the race called? Where Vine and Johannesson on the mount top finish. Uh, fuck's sake. Tour de Bessages? Or... Yeah, yeah. Etoile de Bessages. Etoile de Bessages, yeah. yeah. He, I think he won GC there on the stage as well. Maybe, I think he's yeah. in real, really good shape. He, Yeah, I think he's going to be in a lot of breaks, get break points, might, might get a few top 10s in as well. He's a decent TT rider, should top 10 the prologue, so yeah. Have a few few good points there, and then another brother from Coffee this Anthony Perez. He was quite good in the tour last year. Was in a lot of breaks, so I'm hoping on that again. He also went for early KOM last year, so yeah, maybe he can get into KOM again. That would be a decent amount of points for yeah for a four point rider. Yeah, so I picked one Hoidong because yeah he might get many assist points as Yama Basement rider. Then was Stefano Kung. There are two time trials. He is also good as a classics rider, so maybe he might go in the breakaways. He also can climb, actually, so <laughs> maybe he can yeah, get a lot of breakaway points. And then Florian Seneschal was also six points. My bet is that Jakobsen might uh, OTL very early, might be dropped early on these hilly stages. 
And I think they will maybe use Seneschal, not Morco as a sprinter. So yeah, I'm betting on him. He also won the French Championships, which is the, one of the hardest yeah, races to win, at least from the national championships. So I hope he will bring some points to me. Uh, okay, and the last one was we could pick a, a wild card, so a rider from any class. And we both selected Voton Art, <laughs> the biggest yeah. joker in Peloton. Yes, because Velo Games is uh, point selections rigged for jokers. You get so many points yeah. for second and third places compared to first. That's why also Matthews is usually always a good pick, but this year they have Grand Awaken, so we won't get top five in sp sprints. Yeah. That's why I didn't take him. So yeah, Von Art is going to get like 10 top threes probably. So. And That's he's already but worth he's, it. Yeah, really expensive. 80, 18 points. Yeah, but it's worth it. He's gonna get so many top tens, so many top threes. Yeah, time trials, yeah, spring yeah. stages, maybe cobble stage, but he'll be a double Hill stage as well. Yeah, let's see like how how chained up here. Yeah, he'll be like yeah, hopefully a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he also... might get a lot of points from green jersey, yeah, like from internet. Yeah, that's as well because, and, yeah. because the, I looked at the points allocation and you get so many points. Like you get full points for a lot of the hill stages. So Van Aert can basically not even lose green. So yeah, he'll get a lot of points there. And also a few assist points for Jumbo. Yeah. I think yeah. it's worth it for 18. I think... You need to really be top heavy teams to succeed in Velo games because the top riders get so many points. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Like, we also want on Pogacar on my squad, but uh, then I must pick shit riders <laughs> on other spots. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably you'll be right. Fuck's sake, Wingard. Don't let me down. Yeah. Unless Pogacar crashes out or something, because then. Yeah. Uh. I can imagine like almost everyone will pick at least uh, Bogachar or Roglic and they both yeah. crash out or OTL and <laughs> <laughs> OTL. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> uh, oh, OTL, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know, like Bahrain maybe might, might be very good, so they will OTL everyone. Uh, I mean, can can Jumbo OTL Pogacha and Crosswinds? Maybe. <laughs> But yeah. Pogacar has no team, so maybe. I hope so. Yeah, I picked four Jumbo Isma riders, so I will get a lot of assist points if if Botonart or Roglic or Ringard isn't choking hard. I changed so many riders before we recorded this. Yeah, I also had three teams or something. But yeah. yeah. On my first team, I had like five GC riders. It was... Jesus. Yeah, it was uh, Ben O'Connor, Enric Maas, Jack Haig, Jonas Ingard and Roglic. Yeah. It was a very heavy GC team. Um, but you always I... need to pick some kind of sprinter guy for the world card. Yeah, so it's yeah, so I have two sprinters. Okay, maybe Seneschal will be third sprinter if Jakobsen OTL early, I hope. Yeah. Like I really must hope Pogchar OTL say early or crashes out or DNFs or tests positive for doping or COVID. I don't care which one. <laughs> 